And now, from Laurel, Maryland, USA, it's snack time. Oh, hello and welcome to, to yet another episode of Snack Boy. Before I get going on my snack, I just want to say to my fan and friend, Glenn, out there in Australia, Glenn, I know I thanked you the other day for these, uh, these twisties, but you do not even know. They've been going around the studio like wildfire. Like wildfire. Every time I, uh, I turn my back to go get a cup of water or to, to go do something, I catch one of the lighting guys like with his arm down in my twisties. The, the box has been dwindled so quickly. It is so freaking good. People, my fellow American friends and um, patriots, I guess, we do not know what we've been missing. These twisties are so much better than anything. I mean, so I'm going to tell the story today, but I have to tell you, me being Snack Boy and these being so darn good, I, I hope you forgive me if I might between sentences munch on these twisties. And remember, life's pretty straight without twisties. Okay, picture it. A dramatic day in the life and times of a young aspiring theater actor named Terry. It was about three and a half years ago, and today's snack deals with a little bit of drama. Yes, we've all had a bad day at work, and here's mine. I was working in the evening doing a play called Into the Woods, and I was playing Jack and the Beanstalk, and it was a great gig, and I was having a lot of fun doing it. And during the day, I was um, unlucky enough to be cast as an extra in a Winona Ryder movie, which was filming n near lovely Laurel, Maryland, called The Boys. Now, most of you have heard of Winona Ryder or seen her in a film, but probably very few of you have seen the movie The Boys. And the reason is that The Boys is one of the worst movies that's probably ever been made. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the snack. The point is, I was one of the boys. I didn't have any lines, but I pretty much just sat there in the, in the classroom sets picking my nose. So during the day, I would, for like three or four days, I was filming the boys, and at night I would get in my car and I would drive down Route 50. For those of you who are in Europe, Route 50 is just one of our highways, and it was a good hour drive. It was quite a nice hour drive, and, and you kind of relax. I'd listen to music on the radio. One day, one dark day, it began to rain on the set of The Boys, and Winona Ryder couldn't be bothered. So filming was halted. It was halted. We couldn't have our young ingenue getting her hair wet. Because of the halted filming, though, all of us extras, you know, we're kind of like the cattle of a film. We were basically told, okay, kids, we're not going to wrap at 6 o'clock tonight. We're filming until 7.30 or 8, okay? And I knew that at 8 o'clock, my curtain went up, and I'm supposed to be in the first scene of the play I was in. So I was very a little intimidated. I went to the producer. I said, hi, excuse me. You don't know me because I'm just one of the extras, but I really can't stay. I really have to go. I have to leave now. I'm going to be late for a play. And they're like, Kent, Kent, you stop it right there. This production is a real-life movie. It's not some little play. Every day we spend $3 million on this picture, and you're not going to ruin it by, by messing up the background. I said, I don't have a choice. I'm in the first scene. And I started, my heart started thumping. I was like, bum, bum, bum. But I was like, oh, please, I just got to go. And they're like, hey, no, we are not going to drive you to your car. You're on your own. So I decided to leave anyway. I signed myself out. But here's the thing. Us actors had parked a mile away from where we were filming, so I had to take a cab, and I didn't even know where I was going. I told the cab driver, it's like a stadium. Finally, he finds it. The cab bill's like $35, $40. I barely have enough. I get to my car, and it is storming now, and I got to get one hour and, and like a 15-minute time spent. So I start driving down the freeway, and I'm driving, and my car starts hydroplaning on the, on the water on the freeway, spinning out of control, going down the freeway, spinning, spinning, lightning flashes. At one point, I even spin right down in, in like three lanes over. These twisties are so good. Anyway, I finally am getting toward the theater. Curtain call is at 8. It is now 8.20. Miraculously, I got there quick. I get out into the rain. I park my car up on the sidewalk, right in front of the doors of the theater. I start stripping off my clothes so I can get in a costume quick. I take off my shirt. I take off my pants. I'm running in boxers. Rain just, just hitting my body like pellets. I was getting so freaked out. And then I run into the theater, and everyone in the audience is sitting there waiting for the show to begin, just bored. Like just, and they all see me out in the hallway because the doors of the theater are open, and there I am dripping in my boxer shorts. 
Uh, so it is even worse. So I run into the dressing room, and there they are. The whole cast lined up in a row. There was like 12 people in the cast, and they're all lined up, their arms folded, looking at Snack Boy with this disdainful look in their eye. You know, and then... We do the show, and it was the best performance I think I'd ever done. I used that adrenaline and energy to really pump some life in the show. And when it was over, they even called in the director to come in and show me a hard time. My, the fingers put in my face, and they were like, they were like, oh, I could see to it that you never work on Broadway again, snack boy. Except he didn't call me snack boy because I wasn't doing the show yet. Then he just called me Terry. He said, don't screw with me or my theater, or you'll never work in this town again. It was horrible. I mean, the therapy bill, I can't even begin to tell you. That's one of the reasons I do Snack Boy, to pay for the therapy. Whoops, I almost, I almost, um, I thank you, Glenn, for the twisties, but you almost killed me. This twisty, this last one, dropped into my mouth and began to choke me, but it was worth it because even as it choked me, it tasted very good. If you, <laughs> if you have a situation where you had a time, had a time problem, we had to get from point A to point B, and it was important. A graduation, a wedding. Maybe it was your very own wedding. Maybe it was your parents' wedding. Or maybe you had a boat to catch, and time was the issue. Please write in, and we're going to have another contest. Another.